Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you. As you know, it's a timeless read and I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyway. So if this is your read, you're going to know by the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the genders of the roles, go right ahead, okay? Not a problem. Just remember, it is a general collective reading. It is not personal. So not every read is going to be for you. Please use your higher wisdom and discernment. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some one and or none. And then we bring it together at the end. Um, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like button if you haven't done so already. And or the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, or the membership button. I'd be true, truly grateful if you do. Um... I love you guys. I thank you guys for being here. I apologize for not being here yesterday, but we're now going on to our fourth day of rain. So if some of you already know, I have a, a severe case of arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease. It's in the bones. It attacks my bones. It attacks my, my organs, skin, eyes. You know what I mean? Travels around. Um, yesterday, I was having a hard time just catching my breath because my rib cage constricts so very badly. So... I stayed away. <clears throat> I took the day off for myself. I'm still having a hard time breathing a bit, but there's nothing I could do about it. So if I sound like I'm out of breath, I'm not, well, it's not that bad. Okay. It, doesn't, it sounds worse than it is, but just bear with me. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for being here, by the way. I love you guys so very much. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. What's the message for the collective, please? What would you like to discuss? Oops. That came up in reverse. So we have passion ignited in reverse. One. So I don't know. That's the magician in reverse. So he may be trying to block you. No, no, no passion, no new beginnings, no growth or expansion, whatever this is. Maybe you're not, somebody's not taking some action. Maybe you're not taking action when you should. Somebody's not feeling the passion for something. There could be some manipulation going on. So it could be two-faced, deceitful. Manipulations, illusions. I don't know. So let's see which way it goes. One in reverse. So it could be a, some sort of a blockage as well. Bottom of the deck, the underlying energy. Yeah, um, lights in reverse. So somebody could be sick. Definitely not happy right now. 19 in reverse. That's the sun, right? I don't know. No truth, no clarity. So you 19, and that's one and nine. That's 10 in reverse. I don't know. It could be some karma, stagnation, setbacks. We'll see which way it goes. Moving on. So somebody's moving on. So it's not somebody's not feeling it. Somebody's not happy. Whether it's relationship, job, situation, moving on. Could be a third party situation. That's the lovers six. And remember, it doesn't have to always be romance. It can be. It could be a friend, job, um, a way of life, an addiction that's getting in the way of whatever this is. Okay. It also could be a contract. Not happy with a contract. Not feeling it. Moving on, ascending, making a decision. Okay. And we have hope. 17. Following your heart, I just heard. Healing, balance. Following your heart. Prayer, hope. Somebody's praying, possibly. Faith. Walking away in search of their happy. Uh, let's see bottom of the deck financial and material changes in reverse so it could be a divorce or separation <clears throat> breach of contract um, I, I just heard wisdom so I don't know you could be very very wise you're using your wisdom here uh, your higher wisdom that's for sure it's these rings are pointing, like they're standing out, right? So it could be a divorce of some sort. Somebody could have broken the law. Maybe they're now seeing the light or you're seeing the light. Somebody's broken the law around you and you don't want to be part of it. Take it for whatever it is and or some magic. This could be a warlock or a crooked leader, or dirty leader or some sort of judge. You have no firm foundation here. It could be losing a home. It could be a family falling apart. No, somebody's non-committal. Very unstable here recognition and reward in reverse so somebody could be unstable for and reverses the emperor in reverse could somebody could be involved in corruption or it's just a huge e ego wanting power and control 
lost control okay three in reverse so we could be parents here this is the emperor in reverse and this is the empress in reverse so it could be not very loving or good parents this is very toxic and, and controlling here so somebody's not getting the reckon could be business someone's not getting the recognition or reward that they are looking for somebody's moving on to a better place possibly where they're going to be appreciated could be a relationship could be work could be anything else something's over universe is the world so you're ending a cycle to begin a new one um could be traveling and or moving let's get some more intel on this so passion ignited in reverse number one so somebody was very duplicitous seven 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 so that's the spiritual number you're being protected. Time to set new goals. So something definitely is, you, you're not, it's over. You've been blocked or you're not feeling it. You're not feeling passionate about a situation or person anymore. You could be a younger man involved, bottom of the deck, in bad timing. Two, two, two. Somebody's getting on path here where they belong. You could be a younger man or you're dealing with one, okay? So you're getting on path. Oh, there's an older woman. Ooh, May, December romance, maybe. Nine, one, one. That could be a date, September 11th or November 9th. And, or, I don't know, there's an emergency of some sort, okay? Uh-oh. Could be the red flag. Somebody has a new sexual partner, an older man. Online dating. Bad advice from a friend or family member. And now hurricane season, season ahead. Caution. Okay? So this is literal or, or, or um, metaphorically. Caution, you know, the, the, the red the flags are waving. The red flags are waving. The, the bells are sounding. So we have passion ignited in reverse. So somebody could have had an STD. Passion is ignited 777. Time to set no, new goals. Where are we going with this, please, Spirit? Add some more clarity to this. Inside scoop, a closer look, nosy up in your business. Bottom of the deck. Dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, and protected by haters. So, whatever this is, not a very good, happy situation. It's time to move on, right? Somebody has fake smiles here. Child services could be involved. Romantic love affair. There you go. Sex fixed and secret lovers. So, somebody had a sneaky link. Someone stalking. Somebody has no facts. Never has the facts. Makes shit up. And somebody has a grudge. Wolf in sheep clothing. Wolf in sheep's clothing. So... Somebody is a big fat liar. <clears throat> you don't want to deal with them. I don't blame you. Since it has something to do with relationships, we'll get this deck out. I'm pretty sure it's a relationship, obviously, now. So somebody wound up with an STD or somebody's not feeling passionate. A lot of blocking. Time to set new goals. Inside scoop. Snoopy, Snoopy. So, you know, somebody does you dirty, you leave or you want to leave, and now they're snooping and trying to get information on you. Right? After, after treating you like that. Yeah, reveal. I want to tell you the truth. So somebody's going to be speaking some truths here. Okay? You're irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. So somebody's in regret. They want to reunite. Reunion. Oh, we have a soul tie. I always feel connected to you. Remember, this could be magic. <laughs> It could be a manipulation. It could be a, a karmic soul tie, okay? Karmics were only supposed to be in our life for a very short time. Mistakes, uh, reciprocity. You're looking for an e equal give and take. And it's a third party, okay? Somebody was indecisive. Which one do I want today? You know what I mean? And kept it secret. So you get what you get. You got found out. You know, if you're anything like me, if somebody's going to be playing you, you're not going to stick around and fight for them. Why? Fight for more of that shit? No way. You move on, right? You say, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm, wor I'm worth way more than this. I'm going to find somebody that does love me and appreciate me. Not play games with me. So somebody's really re regretting some. You know, something tells me that this person's regretting losing you because life was easier with you, whether it's financially or with the kids or something. You know what I'm saying, right? Now their life is complicated. Passion ignited, one in reverse, 777, seven, seven, time to set new goals, inside scoop and reveal. I don't know what, why people want to get caught and they finally tell you the truth or they insist to, keep to, you know, on lying yet again. 
you know, it's insulting your intelligence, number one. You have every right to make that decision whether you want to stay with somebody after this instead of them playing games with your life, your health, your, you know, your mental state, your state of mind, your stability. Who are they to do that? Shame on them. So where are we going with this, please, Spirit? Yep, somebody's hitting some poverty, that's why. On the outside looking in, right? They could be facing homelessness. They, they thought they had it all figured out, and now it's like blowing up on them. Thank you, Spirit. There's been no communication. Page of Wands in reverse. Uh, some bad news is coming around. Hopefully not for you. But this is somebody that lied, and they threw rocks, and they hit hands, and they felt entitled to. Somebody's a drama starter. You know, it's all about them, them, them. Everybody has to be a, following their storyline in life. And you got to get involved. Blah, blah, blah. Somebody's that's just juvenile. Okay. Overarching energy stuck in their head. Or they had you stuck in your head. Or they feel trapped now. Too many obstacles to overcome. They're constantly thinking about you. Hmm. They didn't see this coming, or they were, they, you know, not aware of what how that would work out, whatever this is. They're feeling restricted. Yeah, let go, give up. They're angry. They can't block this. Eight of swords in the effort. Maybe they wound up in jail for some reason. They're vibing low, whoever this is. So we have eight of swords in the upright, nine of wands in reverse. You let it go. They're in their head as to how easily it was that you let them go, maybe, or maybe this is you. Yep. Yeah. They want you want you to fight with them or fight for them. There's a blockage of some sort. I don't know. You stood your ground. You're 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 divinely protected. Yeah. There's gonna be some fast communication, action, or travel coming through. Seven of Wands in the upright, eight of Wands in the upright. Somebody's very sad, still emotionally manipulative, male or female. It could be drinking. It could be just sad here. It could be you or somebody else. What is this? Eight of swords in the upright, nine of wands in reverse. Seven of wands in the upright, eight of wands in the upright. Okay, so we have two cards here. Somebody lied. Obviously, page of swords. They could be stalking you. They could be um, maybe cyberbullying you. I don't know. But this is something that's abusive, jealous. Petty and cruel, possibly, okay? And they're worried. They're worried. Maybe maybe they did get abusive. I don't know. Something's happening quickly here. They're really worried. They can't eat it. They can't sleep. They're very, very anxious, burdened by something or someone, or this could be you. Yeah, money. Nine, nine, if this re resonates with you. Somebody's unstable, okay? They're insecure. They're greedy and they're selfish. They're codependent and they're cl clingy. They're having financial difficulties. You or them. Um, somebody's not single, or they weren't single when they were playing around, you know what I'm saying. Um, could have committed some sort of financial crime, but I'm, I don't know, we'll see. So, Nine of Swords in the Upright, Nine of Pentacles in the Reverse. Where are we going with this, please? Yeah, they want a new beginning. They may want to apologize. There could be a child here involved. A new beginning, a child. Remember, if there's an apology, there's a fish in the cup. <coughs> Pardon me. And the person who you're dealing with could at that moment mean, you know, what they're saying, but remember, it's a page. They're very juvenile, right? Yeah, they want to reconcile. They want to heal things with you because they're trying to avoid a tower moment. Okay? Yeah, they're trying to heal a tower, t avoid a tower moment because you're leaving or you've left. You're on, you're on to a better place, right? They want to meet you in calm waters. You know, to, whatever they're going through, it sounds like it's financial. Or it can be psychological. They don't want to be alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're trying to avoid this tower moment. Yeah. Somebody's unstable. They're a materialistic. They're a gold digger, a cloud chaser. They're unfaithful. You can't trust them. They're going through instability right now. Codependent clinging. They don't know their worth or value. It's all about them and their image and what they look like. They're very jealous as well. <laughs> so, yeah. 
that somebody that's not happy. They're not even happy with themselves, okay? You may have a family with them. This could be a home record, constantly wrecking homes. Maybe they have a history of this. Maybe they had families with other people in the past. A serial father or mother, you know what I'm saying? And they go from family to family, and it's just never a happy home. Yeah, they're going towards poverty, a lack and loss. Not happy. Could be scapegoating you. It's all your fault. <laughs> they're the ones. Um, they're the ones cheating on you or playing around. It's not a happy home. Okay, it's not a happily ever after. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Always on the outside looking in. This is somebody that's very insecure, okay? They have no confidence. Or now they don't. I mean, they, they, they were so high on themselves that they, oh, no problem. I'll just cheat. And yeah, you, you you leave. You go ahead. I've got lots of options. And now they're sitting at home by themselves. Nobody's calling them. And they can't make rent. You know what I'm saying? We got too big. We got too big for their bridges. Bridges, I should say. Yeah, there's going to be some communication here. Somebody's assessed the situation. You or them. Good news for you. Yeah. Because you're balanced. Okay. This was... They want an equal give and take with you now. <sighs> Their life was very good with you. Everything was stable. Yeah, stable. But they were giving and receiving with other people. Prioritizing other people. Okay. This was a marriage or a commitment. Something to do with a home. A business and, and or stability. Yeah, they're praying, they're contemplating, they're strategizing. They need to put something to rest. They need to heal from something. Or you've healed and you're quite at peace. Yeah, they're thinking about their options here. All the options that they had. They don't know what to do. This is confusion. They're unfaithful. They can't come correct, okay? The page of pentacles in reverse. Non-committal. They got a lot of burdens because of this, okay? Yeah. They're hurting for money. They're uh, unreliable, not dependable. They're immature, and they're very, very, very irresponsible. They can't come correct. You got a lot of burdens, or they put burdens on your shoulders or other people's shoulders, right? It's all about how they look, you know what I mean? Always having a chip on their shoulder. They cut off their nose to spite their face, I just heard. So take it for whatever that is. You're at peace. Maybe they're dreaming of you or dreaming, trying to dream up different ways. I don't know. To stop you from leaving if you haven't left already. Yeah, stop you from leaving. They don't want to move. They don't want you moving. This isn't going anywhere. Somebody doesn't want to take accountability because they're greedy and they're selfish. Uh-huh. So, they're jealous. That's what it is. You're walking away no matter what. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness. If you haven't left already, you're definitely emotionally clocked out, emotionally withdrawn. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness. You're off to a new start, right? So you're starting something new. You gained some. Maybe you went back to school. You're thinking about going back to school, gathering some information. This is a new beginning, taking a practical approach. Yeah, you went within. You did some soul work. You'd rather be alone, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's over. Somebody said finally, it's finally dawning on someone that it's over between you and them, okay? You're ending a cycle to begin a new one. Yeah, you're not speaking anymore. You're using your intuition, your higher wisdom. You're not happy where you've been. There's been no truth or clarity. Maybe there's illness, right? Maybe they didn't tell you that they caught an STD and gave it to you. Okay, not good. Irresponsible, right? World in the upright, high priestess in the upright, sun in the reverse. They're not happy. They're not happy. Oh, wow. Well. You know when your intuition just speaks to you? You know when you know. It's just, you don't need to tell me if they've been going, I didn't cheat on you, you're lying. Turning it around, you just know, right? And you're not going there anymore. Yeah, so they're under judgment here. Yeah, King of Wands, this could be you or somebody else. Taking a noble approach. This is somebody standing, you or them, or somebody else. Maybe there's a new person involved and it's over. They're finding out there's it's over because you secretly didn't tell them. There could, be, there could be a new person involved. They're not happy about it. Yeah, judgment. You made your decision here. They want a second chance with you. Um, you you're standing in your power, okay? You're attracting right now. You could be very attractive, male or female. King of, King of Wands is a leader type of energy. Um, you're creative. You're attracting. You're attractive. A leader type of, 
of an energy. You do what's right. You made a decision. This is judgment. They want a second chance with you. Possibly. But, yeah, you weighed the pros and cons. Yeah. This person is unstable. Okay. They could be saying, I want to take a chance. I, I won't juggle you anymore. But this is unrequited love. So you, there's nothing to think about. They just traumatized you. You're not going back to the past. There will be no reconciling. Yeah. There's no love here. They showed you no love. There's no compassion. No emotional fulfillment or happiness. Yeah. Not happy with it, right? Not going anywhere. So they're losing hope here. They're heartbroken now. They broke their own heart by doing what they did to you. They're sick and they're heartbroken. They're feeling ashamed of themselves because they got an STD, Ace of Wands. Or they gave you an STD and that was a betrayal. It's a heavy-duty betrayal. This is a harsh and painful end for you. You ended this third-party situation. and Done. Okay? They never helped you in, in the past. It's over. They committed a crime. They abused you. They're hot-headed, maybe. They... they, they endangered other people it was very reckless and you consciously know okay so you're taking action or you took action you're manifesting a new life i don't know maybe he's getting out he's going public maybe maybe somebody's trying to hide this from the public from their friends yeah holding back this is somebody that's very combative and argumentative with you okay a poser a player okay yeah they feel entitled they want you to hold back. Don't leave me. Let's try another. Let's try it out for another week. <laughs> and then they get angry with you and lose. The, yeah, they're grieving and regretting here. They're holding back a lot from you. But you know, I'm. I'm this. This was the, your connection here with the two cups behind the person. They're grieving and regretting the parties, the third parties, and situations and things that don't matter over you. They put you last. Because, you know, the, the water, water and tarot represents emotions. They didn't want to tip, dip their toe in the emotions, right? Could be far from home. They're getting kicked out. Yeah, they wanted you to fight for them. That's their love language, okay? They could have fought with you in the past and maybe got handsy and there was an, an injustice here, okay? You're not, in, you're not invested. You're not engaging in it. Bye. Yeah. They were, didn't tell you they had an STD and they were giving a cup of love out. And they lied to you. Now they're jealous. They had the nerve to be jealous and angry. Come on. Queen of Swords in reverse. They lied to you. They were giving a cup of love to other people. It's all lust, ego, and pride, right? Yeah. Got somebody pregnant, maybe. Or you found your strength and your courage to speak your truth because they lie. You could be the divine feminine parting away. You don't trust them. It's going nowhere. You don't see eye to eye. Yeah, this is getting out into the public here that they maybe treated you this way. They had an STD. This is public humiliation. Maybe you were humiliated for the very last time. Okay, I get that. You felt humiliated. Yeah, now that you know the truth, nah, it's gone. Yeah, they're blocking you or trying to block you, but we're going to leave that there. You know the truth. You're speaking the truth, okay? You're cutting this person out. They have no business in your life anymore. They gave you an STD. You're not feeling it anymore. Obviously, if they're sleeping around, you don't mean much to them anymore, right? They're trying to block you, right? Block the fact that they got you sick. This is the sun. Somebody's not happy, okay? There's been no truth or clarity, so I don't blame you. Listen, don't feel shame. This is their shame, okay? You didn't do anything wrong. They could be, could be an, this could be you or them, a younger man, or they were dealing with one. I don't know. 777, seven, seven. you're very pr protected. This is uh, a very spiritual number, so you might want to look that up. Time to set new goals, I agree. This is not for you. Bad timing. Mm, bad timing for them. Maybe they lost a job or they're not working. Maybe they're just out there playing. Um, they didn't really think this one through, did, did they? Or maybe you, you're in a bind right now, but you know what? There's no reason to stay with somebody that's going to treat you like that, whether it's about money or not or children or not. There's always a, when there's a will, there's a way, right? So they're now realizing that you're irreplaceable. You made things easy. That's too bad. Reveal, I want to tell you the truth. Somebody's watching you, a closer look, nosy up in your business, see if you're dating, see if you're happy. I don't know. You dodged major bullets, though, okay? Because now you, maybe more and more truths are coming out about this person and what they've done behind your back. 
And you're probably breathing a lot easier. And thinking to yourself, I don't need this shit. Don't want it. Don't need it. They can stay over there. You made your dirty bed. You shot the bed. <laughs> you can stay there. Where are we going with this face spirit? That's the end result here. How's this going to turn out for my beautiful collective? Yeah, the lady of the gift. Oh, yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. Well, you didn't get it, and or maybe they turned around and said you gave it to them. Yeah, generosity, receiving and withholding in reverse. This is judgment in reverse, 20 in reverse, okay? Harsh judgment based off of lies. Well, they're going to be judged uh, very harshly based off of the truth. Um, so they went around saying lies about you. It wasn't... That wasn't right. Just lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. They don't want to take accountability. They're going to have to. This is no second chance. This is karma. Okay? Hawk print, spirit, communication, paying attention, 11. So this is your justice. Maybe they're going to get arrested for what they did. If they didn't, if they knew they had an STD and they gave it to you, they didn't warn you. Spirit communication. So you, you definitely knew. You tapped into your intuition. You got the intel. You paid attention to the to the signs. So the sacred union, this was not a sacred union. What I tell you, it was a karmic soul tie. 27, 9 in reverse. 9 in reverse is the hermit reverse. They were hiding and cloaking so very much, okay? They didn't want this getting out into the ethers. Out into the public where everybody knew. So maybe it wasn't just you that they did this to. And then, you know, maybe passed on the gift that keeps on giving. They passed it on to others. They could be going to jail. Swan Queen in reverse. Transformation, intuition, and patience. 13 in reverse. They kept doing something over and over. That's death in reverse. They kept doing something over and over again. And it's getting stale. This is somebody that's tr really resisting change. Okay? They won't change. So it's time. It's a permanent, profound ending for whoever this is. Yep. They didn't want to learn their lesson. They're going to have to le learn it now. So the Lady of the Gift in reverse, we have Challenger. The Lady of the Gift says that the act of withholding isn't welcome in her world. In fact, withholding information is another way to lie. Are you doing this? Perhaps someone is doing it to you. Withholding something in order to keep you manipulated and controlled so you believe deep down you're not quite good enough. Now's the time for you to address the concept of withholding. If you see this in any aspect of your life, it's time for a change. Giving to others with the idea of getting something in return is also being warned against here. The best way out of this this mire is to give with honesty and with an open heart and without expectation. The Lady of the Gift challenges you to be generous and compassionate. You can always start again. So that could be for you. That could be for them. Okay? You're going to be all right. I feel it. So we have the Hawk Prince, spirit communication, paying attention. The Hawk Prince appears with good news. He flies into your life to alert you that a message is coming to help you manifest your destiny. Expect a phone call, letter, email, or a conversation that lets you know the next step to take towards your greatest good or to tell you that you're, you've arrived at an important stage along your path. The Hawk Prince is also the ally for spirit communication, so pay attention when you think you hear something important pop out at you on the radio, on TV, or in overhearing the conversations of strangers. Spirit is constantly in dialogue with you. Are you listening? Stay open and expect spirit to speak to you and show you the way to your prosperity in all aspects of your life. So pay attention. Uh, you will get the... If you're looking for any kind of direction, you will get it, okay? Challenger, the, the sacred union. The sacred union as your challenger warns you to be careful of your associations at this time. You may, be fe you may be entering into a situation that will cause more aggravation and drama than you can handle. Be mindful as well of, it, of addictive tendencies in making partnership commitments. Mm, that might be for them. I don't know. Are you choosing from an obsessive need to distract yourself from moving forward in your life? Are you ignoring your red flags in order to change the course of events to suit you? Could it be possible that you're the recipient of mixed messages? This is a time to put a little distance between you and your query. More will be revealed to, to help you make the correct choice to support your soul's growth. So maybe you've got so much going on around you. I mean, this could be for them. But if this is for you, you've got so much going on around you. Maybe they're trying to distract you. I don't know. That you can't pick up on the messages. Maybe you're just going to need some take time off. Time out. Do whatever you can to, to, to isolate if you're still with them. But emotionally, obviously, you're not. Um, 
You, you just need some alone time. You just need some don't fuck with me time <laughs> to get those uh, get that direction from spirit. Let's see where we're going with this. So I'm gonna. <clears throat> I have to I have to do some shopping today, but um, I just wanted to do a quick read and or two reads quickly, and uh, I'm going to do an extended for the membership as well as maybe if I'm up to it uh, a, a regular read for the members. Um, but that's going to take you know throughout the day and the evening. So I don't know when. Uh, somebody emailed me earlier. I did see that the you know what you, you basically said was. When are you going to do another read? Blah, blah, blah. I didn't get a read yesterday. Well, I don't do personals. So that kind of made me feel like, what? You know, I didn't get my full read. That's what they said yesterday. I don't do personals. If that's what you're talking about, you must be um, talking to somebody else. or I don't know. I don't do personals. Okay. But if you're talking about me not doing a read yesterday, yeah, I didn't do a read yesterday. I'm, my apologies. It, it does happen. Um... You know, I don't have set times when I do reads. It's just when spirit tells me it's okay and when I feel up to it. So I'm going to try to get some done today. I can't give you an exact time, okay? And sometimes if I don't feel, if I'm not feeling as well as I do now in the future, like later on today, maybe I won't post, but I'm going to try to get a couple in, okay? I apologize. It's just the way my body works. Let's see. Angels, where are we going with this, please? I haven't even got my nails done, so I don't know when I'm going to get them done. I just don't feel like sitting there on a hard chair. <laughs> uh, zero, one, one, zero, belief system. Um, go after what you want. Unique destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, uh, appreciation, and gratitude. You're blessed with, talent, with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Okay? So you have talents and skills that can... I don't know, get, you know, you, you could start something new here to get your mind off of this. Yeah, you know, we, we all get broken hearts and the best way to get through a broken heart is to love ourselves and to dive deep into our passions, right? And no, I'm not talking about snakes, okay, for the, the ones that are out there sleeping with everything and anything. Nah. So 1441, unique skills. Again, this is in keeping. You have some unique skills that you can use right now. You know what I mean? That's going to really change your world, whether it's monetarily and or just, you know, being uh, an individual, you know, getting your, your creations out there, whatever it is that you do. So life goals, mission, sense of self, honesty, important projects. It's that time of intense self-development. Focus your mind on your craft. You already have what it takes to succeed, but practice makes you a master. It also serves to find your true pur purpose. Leveling up in your career or business is a priority right now. Trust and when I believe, trust and believe, I should say, <clears throat> when you have a skill of some sort and the divine is, is, or your spirit team is pushing you to do it, they're not guiding you in the wrong way. You might have a lot of fears. I mean, just to get back to when they were, when the divine was trying to talk me into doing this on YouTube, reading, reading cards, I never thought I would. And I didn't want to do it because I am shy in, the, in a way. I mean, I'm less shy than I used to be. I still don't show myself on camera, but, um, he kept saying, you got to do this. You got to do this. This is your path. This is part of your path. It's not all of my path, obviously, but you got to get, get, get on path. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he told me, give it six, six weeks. He goes, you're going to hate it at first. You're not going to like it at all. You're going to feel like a fish out of water, but after six weeks, you're going to find your stride. You're going to actually enjoy it and you're going to excel. So I'm not saying that I'm the best here. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do get me wrong. I don't know why, but whatever. You know, we all have our niche here. And yeah, I discovered I do have a talent, you know, to communicate, to read the cards. You know what I mean? And I was shocked because I never thought I'd do this. So in your situation, you might be shy. Maybe it is being out in the open, being, you know, introducing yourself to other people, networking, whatever it is that you do. Get out there. Okay. Do what you're, you're meant to do. You're meant to do this. And the one that you're dealing with is getting some karma, okay? 888. Eight, eight. It's also the number of abundance, okay? Balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles, what goes wrong comes around. A lot of money's coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Now, uh, 
they always down low when I'm reading. <laughs> always talking. What I picked up from this is whomever was doing this to you, whoever cheated on you, used you, made you feel really, really bad, trying to knock that confidence out of you because they're lacking. You're going on to a beautiful life. Whatever it is that you do is going to bring you money. But it's also going to bring you freedom, a uh, good sense of self, healing, right? Self, I should say, and healing. And they're going to look, all they can do is look. They're going to find out that you're having a great time, beautiful life, blah, blah, blah. Stable and secure. And they're going to kick themselves in the ass. This is part of their karma. Okay? Three, 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 three. Social skills. So you have great social skills. Hope, optimism, liberation, success, prosperity, excitement, enthusiasm. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on your life since luck may be about to change. It's a it is time to put your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Let's do this again. It is time to put to use, pardon me, your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. So if you're shy, I don't know. Take that for whatever it is. I mean, we all have an ego. Zero five five zero. That's change. Okay, eye candy. You could be eye candy, or somebody new is coming into your life. That's eye candy, or somebody thinks you're eye candy. Whatever this is, it's good news for you. After being so hurt, okay. Don't let somebody's bad behavior bring you down for months, if not years. Some people, you know, get hit hard and they lose confidence and they get. Hurt. I mean, if you're dealing with a narc or something like that, yeah. It takes you a while to bounce back, right? To get back your, your sense of self. So, you know, if you can, do that, that healing work. Don't stay there, though. Okay, feel those feelings and work through it. You can do it. I love you guys, and until next time, take care.